The artists that we work with were finding it really tough to be on the road and the venues that we were working with were finding it really hard to find an audience for this kind of work. It was absolutely about trying to make new contemporary work more appealing for everyone. It was full on. I have to say, full on. It was her fun. I mean, it was absolutely, completely uh, terrifying at points. So New Theatre in Your Neighbourhood is a research project to try and bring new and contemporary work to places that might not ordinarily receive it. And create a closer relationship between artists, venues, and the communities that the venues serve. Finding those new audiences unlocking all that creativity that is everywhere in the whole of the country. And really build a groundswell of people who are excited by contemporary performance and try and find new, new people to engage in that as well. Fuel are really good at aiming for people that don't necessarily come to the theatre by making work that doesn't necessarily sit in a theatre. One of the first shows that they brought to Margate was Clod Ensemble's Red Ladies. And that hit the town like a sea of red. Uh, everybody was talking about it. And then a really lovely show was Daniel Bai's Story Hunt. And it took people out of the theatre in very small groups and walked them round the town. And both of those shows have gone on to help me develop relationships with both of those artists. I got involved in the Phenomenal Women Project and one of my favourite songs is I Will Survive. So yes, we all sign, I Will Survive. We've got volunteers in a few different uh, towns in the country who live there, who love theatre. Their role is to invite people, welcome them to the theatre, and then we have a conversation afterwards, a bit like a book club, but a theatre club. That's where people really generate their opinions and their thoughts, and if everyone in the theatre is, is thinking in this kind of fuel, organic conversation way, then those audiences will build. They, so far, have been really uh, lively. Um, and, and just as much of an exciting part of the night as watching the show. And that's something that we've actually engaged with in our cinema programme as well. So we're enabling, hopefully, conversation groups to start out of, out of um, the wider programme. The ultimate aim for me is that, um, that these groups, these social groups, pick up. Um, lots of people are interested and that I'm not needed anymore. Most of this story takes place here, in the north of England. This is it. This is the north of England. The most exciting thing has been about thinking about pieces of work and working with artists that are very specific and relevant to a particular place. It's not been a one-size-fits-all approach to, to the work that we're doing. These individual places, whether it's Margate or Malvern or Preston, are all different. If you're really going to make a difference to these places that you tour to, you have to think about that place and is there a different vocabulary that's needed around, around that show. Lou and Kate invited me to undertake what they called an artist mission and think about Preston for a day. And then the opportunity to write the play came along. One of the hardest things to do was to get Prestonians, as much as I know them and love them and am one of them, to put their hands in their pockets. So then to kind of like add the value that um, Fuel have really brought in by enabling us to take risks and programme some really contemporary and edgy work and then going, actually Preston, you can pay what you want now. That's been brilliant. I hope that we've created a situation where people could come down, whoever they may be, whether they go to the theatre regularly or not, and take a punt and see what goes on. Rum Punch is about the fact that I struggled in Preston to find a sense of identity here. What I really liked was the mentorship. He's actually really helped to mould how I approach the work. So for my first project outside of university, it's been the perfect introduction. We also work with Tortoise in a Nutshell, which is a company based in Scotland, um, to reimagine an existing piece of work called Feral, um, specifically for people in Margate and Poole. It's been really refreshing um, to do, to refresh a show. We are really trying to embed our show into the community and really draw from the community inspiration. We spoke to councillors, business owners, people in the pub, 
schools, really try and get a real broad sense of what both Margate and Poole were. New Theatre in Your Neighbourhood has been a fantastic period of research. We've met a massive range of people that we wouldn't ordinarily meet. It's made loads of difference to our working life as an organisation, as they eat culture. Um, they've made a difference to the entire team, I think. If you put things on which are of superb quality, people will come. And more importantly, they'll talk about it afterwards, and that's how you get more people into the venue. I know I can do it now which is really helpful. The project has given us the luxury of time. We've shared something together and that means something to then be able to kind of trust in that person to come again. So needed to have that space just for women. And that's what I mean about fuel. They think, what are the gaps? What's needed? Oh, we've learned so much. What's really exciting is um, Feral does seem to have a life going on to a tour of the Highlands and Islands, and then in the autumn we're heading to Mexico. And, uh, and Will Adamsdale is coming uh, to Margate in 2016, and I could not be prouder. You enable people to take risks, and, and I mean the audience, to go, actually, well, we've seen that, so we might like this, and actually now we see the value of it. I feel I can be confident in developing my audiences, and I've got there so much more quickly than I would have done without the project's support. Thank you.